Okay, so good. So I want to give you a guided tour and have you focus on my head and so that behind me you will see two large orange shapes. I want to take you through a guided tour. We are inside the brain. We are actually uh, sitting, the seats are sitting where the thalamus should be. I've removed the thalamus, which is the top of the brain stem. You are sitting on the thalamus. You are looking forward and the, and the orange shapes behind me are parts of the frontal lobe. I want to have you stay with me on the view because I want to give you a, a feeling for what has taken six years to get to work, which is to come here into Second Life and see if we could create what it's like to look at the brain from inside like a planetarium rather than the way we normally do, which is a two-dimensional picture of these structures. So let's go. So if you're zeroed in on me, the next slide I'm going to show you are the amygdala. Those are the amygdala, those two round looking structures. And these are actually accurately uh, transformed from MRI images in the Netherlands. We then use Blender to turn them into SL uh, accessible images. So those are the left and right amygdala that no doubt uh, a term you've heard of before in relationship to danger and fear, etc. But right now I want to focus on giving you the experience of the anatomy. So here are the amygdala. The amygdala are in the front of the temporal lobe. I just showed you the frontal lobe. Those are Broadman area 11, left and right. Look at how big they are. They're taking, this is the pole, the frontal pole of the frontal lobe. So now what I want to do is I want to have you focus on me and I'm going to now walk to the back of the brain. So follow me while I walk behind you. I'm going around the thalamus to, and now I'm going back toward the occipital lobe, the back of the brain. And those structures that you see in front of me now, that is the left and right primary visual cortex, BA17. All the, the Almost all research on vision is done on this area specifically. I'm going to kind of walk through it so you can follow me and see what it looks like. But, right. but try sticking with me because I'm going to give you a chance to fly around and get different views. But I do want to make sure you sort of get a sense of the orientation. So now I'm coming back in front. I'm coming back in front on top of the thalamus again. And now I'm facing you again. And now I'm going to fly. I'm going to, so stick with me. I'm going to fly upwards. So now we're literally going upwards, uh, up toward the top of the brain. And if you uh, follow me, we will go up until we reach the motor strip. So that is the motor strip. So once again, if you're focused on me, I'm going to I'm going to be treading water for a moment. So this is the left and right motor strip. The, the neurons in this in this strip are the ones to go all the way from the court from this area in the cortex to the spinal cord to control the individual muscles. This is the structure that does it. Now I'm going to come back down again. And now I want you to you know, stop treading water. And stop flying. Now uh, you're looking at me. I want you to be aware of the gray structures around you. So each of these gray structures are the different brain areas, the different Broadman areas. Right around you close is a large gray structure that I'm now going to light up. This is the hippocampus. This is probably the most famous part of the brain because this is where all the memory research is focused on, this structure here. So this is once again the left and the right hippocampus. It's not technically cortex. We are down next to the thalamus. We're all sitting in the thalamus, so this structure is essentially uh, surrounding the thalamus. You can see that it's quite a large structure. But now I want to show you, and this is my last slide, the dopamine system, the system that controls our drives, our motivations, our addictions, to give you a sense. So you're looking at me and the hippocampus and perhaps yourself, if that's the view you have. Let's see, I'm going to see what your view looks like. So you can sense the hippocampus around you, but now I'm going to show you the dopamine system. So this is a huge system. 
This is left and right, four parts of it, the caudate nucleus, the putamen, and the globus pallidus. It all starts from the dopamine neurons in the brainstem. And here, I would say, what I suggest is, how about now, use your cameras as you wish, or even fly around to get a feeling for this location, and we can chat, I, um, both by voice and text, take some questions, and then uh, when we're ready, let's move back to the sitting area to talk more about all this. Feel free to speak up at this point, or text and fly around. I love coming in here and flying around. So what I'm hoping for is, wow, I've got the American Library Association here, and I would love to find out how that brain that we've been working on, especially Wisdom and Widget and I have been working on for probably six years, what we can do to make it a more useful educational tool.